And we're live. Welcome to the Sprint 20 review of the Common Stack. This Sprint 20 is a special one. It's called Broadcast Seeding. Uh, broadcast Seeding is, an, uh, and of course, major props go to Ivy for the, for the name. Uh, broadcast Seeding is a method of seeding that involves scattering seed by hand or mechanically over a large area. It's simple, fast, and easy, especially compared to traditional row sowing where you build a row and put one seed at a time in its place. And it works best for plants that don't really require perfect spacing or are easy to thin later. So the, and another great advantage of broadcast seeding is that it's really perfect for uh, cover crops and grains or grasses and uh, anything that just covers an area. And we wanna cover the world with micro economies for public good. So broadcast seeding is the place to be. Uh, and this one is a special, uh, also special because, hey, we've hatched. No, we haven't hatched yet, I guess. We're start, the hatch is, the hatch is on. Uh, let's see if I can share some screen here. The hatch is on and uh, we are going, we are at that special number of $69,000. Uh, we are halfway through the hatch and it is go time. It is time to get some, get some money in this hatch and it's super easy. You just, uh, you want to sign the terms and conditions. You want to read the terms and conditions because they actually explain everything that's going on. And then you want to just go mint some TEC. Uh, I have some TEC to mint, so let's do it. Uh, I'm doing it right now. We're minting some TEC. Man, look how easy that is. Oh my gosh, it is just so easy. And boom, TEC, to TEC hash tokens are minted. Uh, well, Got to let the transactions go through. It's two of them. And here we go, coming in. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, so we're, uh, yeah, definitely get in there, mint some uh, TCH tokens, participate in the hatch, be part of this uh, first ever participatory e economy, uh, which maybe we're going to like rebrand that name. There's a, there's a tweet out there to rebrand that name. Maybe collaborative economics is, is the best one so far, but yeah, we'll work on it. So, uh, so yeah, join the hatch. And of course there's a lot of action else going on this week. We were in Paris, uh, where I gave a great talk. It has uh, lots of views. So give it some more talked about public goods, private goods, and kind of defined it a little better. But what I really love the most is this, this idea that you can actually take things that were private goods and club goods and move them over into the public good space. It's economic good yoga, and uh, we need to do more yoga, right? Uh, also during the Paris conference, there, was, uh, there were lots of fun events. So there was the Taoist uh, that Livia spoke at, and uh, there's also... Uh, the unconference, the TEC held an unconference where we gave, uh, I gave a class on the, the augmented bonding curves. A lot of other people gave talks about other topics. A lot of this stuff will end up on the forums. If you weren't able to be there in person and catch COVID, well, you know, hey, you, we can't get you COVID, but we can at least tell you what happened at the unconference. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Olivia. Thanks. Um, yeah, let me share my screen too. Um, well, Paris is amazing. Um, I'm happy I didn't get COVID and, and I really hope that everyone that did is like recovering well and that everyone stays healthy. And Tam and I, Tam is in vacation right now. Uh, well, well deserved vacation and her and I had a talk at the Taoist that unfortunately wasn't recorded, but we'll probably give it again sometime soon. But we talked about the importance of uh, cultural practices when building self-governing communities. And we had a really fun session, me and her, to even identify some of these cultural practices. And I just wanted to share some of them with you that are uh, our culture of gratitude that is highly attached to praise, but now we got a life of its own. Uh, the celebratory uh, culture we have, the duocracy that anyone can come in and do things and that we build this environment for agency and that we have the working groups that are doing so much of the development of the organization simultaneously. And then we have the stewardship that 
is the organizer of all of these work streams and how uh, can we go towards the same direction and participatory decision making, of course, uh, that is not only decision making uh, for um, everything we need to align to, but also for the, econ for the economics. So as Griff was mentioning, the participatory collaborative economics that come from the decision making. And uh, we are an inclusive community. We have transparency as a core value and education is uh, what keeps the, the TEC really alive because there are so many education um, streams happening and people really join because they want to learn and conflict management that it's super important we always talk about this uh, the importance of having um, yeah conflict management practices accessible to everyone in the community so uh, with that I'll talk a little bit about uh, the governance as well that a lot of the work being done in the TC and Common Stack and other communities, um, the Token Engineering Academy, near protocol. We have uh, we have been looking into uh, governance as part of token engineering. So how can we bring this arm uh, more alive to the conversation of like building economies? And a lot of this initiative is uh, happening with the governance group and we'll have a welcoming call uh, Friday the 13th at 8 p.m. Europe time. So we'll share more about it uh, along the way. So just stay tuned uh, to join us there. And with that, I'll pass to Chris. All right. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot to show off, but I can tell you a bit about what we've been doing uh, in communications. Um, so the biggest thing that we most recently had was the uh, AMA for July. Uh, and if you weren't able to make it, uh, we have a link to the video. It could be here, it could be here, it might be down here in the description when you're watching this. We'll see, um, but we'll have a link for it. Um, and next month we'll ha be having another AMA. So this one will be with uh, Regen Network to chat about our upcoming partnership that will be quite exciting. Uh, we'll have some of the AMA, or sorry, some of the Regen team joining the AMA uh, to help us with your questions uh, around the partnership and anything else. If you have questions about Regen as well, they'll be there. So make sure you plan to attend. It'll be August 25th, 11 a.m. Eastern, the last Wednesday of every month as usual. Um, we've also started to onboard guest blog pieces to our Medium publication. So if you're interested in contributing a blog piece uh, as a guest, uh, feel free to let us know. Um, and we'd love to get your pieces on, uh, on the blog. Um, you may or may not have heard it yet, but the TEC is also hatching. So make sure you guys get into, uh, into the hatch if you're eligible, if you're able. Um, we're building participatory economies, and we'd love to have you be a part of that. So. Um, yeah, and if also for, on the communication side, if you have uh, ideas for ways that we can get the word out on the hatch or any get other people involved, let us know. We'd love to get um, get more people in into the hatch and get uh, the word out. So that's it for me. I will pass to Jess. Thanks, Chris. I also don't have a crazy amount of visible things today, but can share some of the initiatives that I've been working on and also collaborating with some of the team here. Um, first thing, very sexy, process improvements. Very, very interesting. On the back end, just general operations, how the common stack's flowing and looking for, I think somebody called it acupuncture, I love that. I think it was Dan. Um, so kind of like organizational acupuncture, seeing where we can increase the flows of information, communication, um, particularly for uh, communications and contributor onboarding. And then the next thing I wanna mention, we don't have the show yet, but we will soon. We are hiring again. Um, we are looking for soon, once we get the job description up, um, we're gonna be looking for a fundraiser. So, you know, we are at the crux of the issue with public goods, which is our whole mission. And also we deal with internally in our organization. So luckily we're supported by you, our generous community, but we're also looking to figure out how we can have more regenerative and sustainable funding streams. And to do that, we need somebody to focus. So if you know anybody that has um, some crypto knowledge and also has some traditional you know, fundraising experience and VCs or 
um, maybe nonprofits even better. Um, we'll love to talk to that person and we'll have a job description. We would love you to help us share around soon. And then the, the main thing uh, also that I've been focusing on in ecosystem development is the governance research as well. So working with Livia and Jeff um, and many others in a bunch of different organizations um, for the governance, but also um, there's some pretty exciting stuff going on Dow to Dow. I'll let Jeff um, talk more about that since he uh, was working on that research. And then also just figuring out um, across the wider ecosystem, how can we start to look at governance as design and also institutional design um, to have kind of these polycentric structures, what are the conditions that enable or, or um, allow for, um, yeah, these kind of more mature systems to emerge. Uh, so we had a really cool chat with Gitcoin DAO. They have a new uh, group called Moonshot Collective. It's gonna act as kind of an incubator in the space um, for funding and, and uh, resources to support initiatives in governance. And so we said, hey, Commonsec, we've got loads of ideas and they've got the developers. Um, so hopefully that'll be a great partnership for us um, going forward as well, where we can start to model, spec um, and build all of the kind of iterations on a lot of the work that's already been happening around conviction building, quadratic, and then also exploring um, more in the cultural realms and what Livia has working on and kind of bringing that all together uh, with, with a bunch of different partners across the ecosystem. So that is super exciting um, and look forward to sharing more as it develops. And until then, I will pass it to Jeff. Awesome. Uh, yeah, this past sprint, um, I spent a Bunch of time uh, engaging with the Commons Tech community and uh, some influencers on uh, on Twitter and Discord. Um, particularly, the Holochain uh, ecosystem is getting more and more interested in in the Common Stack, which is really cool uh, because, of course, the tools that we are building, we want to see deployed on multiple different ecosystems. We are chain agnostic. Uh, we'd love to see these tools built on Ethereum. Uh, we've been in discussions with uh, with the Cosmos ecosystem um, and now Holochain. Um, so yeah, really interested to see tools like conviction voting uh, or bonding curves in their various forms show up on on these different networks. Because ultimately, what we're here to do is uh, provide that kind of rigorous token engineering uh, research and modeling and, and design and, and hopefully these um, uh, reference implementations that we're working on in the TEC on Ethereum can also spread to, to other ecosystems and other chains and we really want to see, um, you know, just uh, good, good engineering and good design and, and well-functioning systems in all of these areas. Um, so yeah, some of the exciting new um, initiatives on the block, um, the proposal inverter that Jess mentioned uh, in the DAO to DAO uh, research. Um, so this is sort of a, um, an, an upgrade to our original proposed sort of giveth proposal engine. It sort of serves the same, same function uh, with some additional, um, uh, additional features. So that modeling is going to move forward uh, with um, long tail financial and, and block science. Um, and definitely, uh, you know, a, a potential component in the in the common stack toolkit. So really exciting uh, research and modeling, uh, kind of moving towards uh, specification and, and development. So exciting stuff with with new tools there. Um, some other exciting research around uh, computer aided governance with the Gitcoin team. Uh, we've been continuing to work with them to have sort of um, uh, real time. Um, uh, metrics for their stewards and their community to govern the Gitcoin ecosystem. If anyone doesn't know, Gitcoin just DAOified uh, a couple of months ago now, maybe. Um, and yeah, sort of running into a lot of the um, same issues with a lot of uh, DAO toolkits. So, um, you know, we're kind of bringing them up to speed on how uh, the common stack tools are aiming to improve and uh, streamline DAO coordination and functionality. And yeah, some really exciting stuff coming with them uh, and the Moonshot Collective that Jessica also mentioned. Um, one last thing I wanted to mention, um, sort of in a, in a, a side project, but really exciting stuff um, around a um, bonding curve-like tool for the Holochain uh, ecosystem, uh, tying in sort of a signal for productivity as well, not just um, sort of buying and selling, um, but also the, the productive throughput of the network. So there's some really exciting um, sort of bonding curve properties being experimented on in, in different ecosystems. Uh, I'm really excited to bring sort of those, uh, those lessons back to the, the common stack pattern. Um, and hopefully they can be useful in, in multiple different areas. So some pretty exciting stuff going on there as well. Unfortunately, none of that has much to show, uh, but hopefully in the coming weeks, we'll have uh, a lot of opportunity to dive deeper into 
the models and the research and uh, make sure those lessons are available to the wider community as well. Uh, awesome. Well, I will pass to Dan. Oh, I thought it was a can. I, would have, I can go. So, <laughs> so hey, guys. I, I don't have any plants down here with me, sadly. It's kind of like another place for, for gardening the trusted seed. But anyway, like, uh, so letting you guys know that we had like 55 applications in total in July. Uh, most of them just right after XCC. 38 people applied in over a week. So that, that's fun. Like, uh, that just got processed. You guys got your emails. That's fun. And we managed to mean some systems. Actually, 66K sixth, I got, it's a lot of six. Anyway, it's like four, almost, almost a whole lot, that's it. But anyway, that's fun. And we are all the way up to 227 active trusted seat members. And something fun happened, let me show you. Uh, where is this? Let me show you. Can you guys see this? We had some new gardeners. So these are the trusted seat junior gardeners. This is... Ginesi and Maria, you will be hearing from them a little bit like that. They will be helping in processes mostly. And just as well, like uh, we updated the, I updated the board lock just a little bit. We had some membership determinations, sadly. It happens sometimes. And if you had seen your name down here and by any chance you want to make a change, let me know, let me know. I was so happy putting some faces to these names all through the week in Paris. That's beautiful. So, so yeah, that's that's basically it for me. Let me let me stop sharing and give it back to the grief. Oh no, Ekene, go. Hi guys. Um, so our social media has been up late this uh, throughout July, and so it's very thanks to you guys for keeping up and staying with us all to run interacting with the posts that we've been putting out. Uh, finally, our uh, LinkedIn is picking up. We've got to grow up to 62 uh, this um, July. And then uh, on Twitter, we have 62 tweets with 122 retweets with 57 re responses. I mean, you guys are amazing. Then our interactions grew by 727 key interactions, you brothers. So you've killed it and we're loving you for bringing your energy. So just keep checking out um, Come On Stack on LinkedIn and on Facebook. Our Facebook community is still very small. We're trying to expand it. So if you can just go check it out and um, you could as well see the link on, on, on the video, I'm sure so you could uh, go follow on um, socials. So keep it coming. We love you and we love what you do with us. Thank you so much. And then I'll pass back to Griff. Yeah. And at the end, we always like to, you know, not everyone. Oh, I can make you mute. Uh, thanks. Uh, at the end, I like to give praise to all the people who's made this possible. There's only seven people in the call, but oh my God, so many people helped make this possible. Obviously, of course, Tam, who couldn't be here, is taking a much needed vacation. So major praise to Tam. Oh yeah, she is there. Thank you, Tam. You're the one who made all of this possible that we even do these calls in all of our organizations. So yes, thank you, Tam. And also thank you, Ivy, of course, uh, for the great name of the sprints and all the, all the support she gives us behind the scenes to make us all look really good. Uh, and uh, Julie and Chewy for setting up the Paris conference and making it easy for all the TEC people to just land in and have a good time. Uh, Tam for her amazing speaking presence at the Taoist. She is amazing out there. Uh, Felipe and Inga for organizing the Taoist event. Mitch, Nate, and Chewy for, and all the other volunteers that helped volunteer at the Taoist. Uh, and Katie and, uh, and Dan, oh, you're, you're here. Katie and all the, all the volunteers at HCC as well uh, that helped make the conference possible. And uh, we have James, Angela, and Natalia and all the other governants that, uh, that are pushing that uh, project forward. Ivy for cleaning up this video and adding links at the bottom. Uh, the, the whole region community for uh, joining us in an AMA session. Anna Marie for working on the guest blog post. Heather for her uh, incredible work helping the ecosystem hire all these really cool people. Uh, and then of course, Marie, uh, Denise and Maria for willing, being willing to help us support this effort. We have Zargum for his work in supporting all of our research efforts across the, across the board. Uh, Carl Flourish, Owaki, and Vitalik for their great talks at FCC and highlighting public goods. Uh, Kevin Owaki and Austin Griffith, the number one Griffin crypto, I said it. 
uh, work uh, for their work on the Moonshot Collective. Actually, Awaki said that in the in his talk. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I was right there. Anyway, Arseni for his great for his great talk in the Taoist on the proposal inverter, which was super cool. The entire Holochain community for joining us on the bonding curve research. Uh, Hawaki, Scott, Yaler, Disruption Joe, and all the other Gitcoin governance uh, supporters that are doing all this important work behind the scene herding cats. And uh, Christopher for leading the effort on the Trusted Seed dashboard. And all of you for retweeting and, and giving all those important uh, 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 pieces. And then, of course, all the hatchers. Thank you, Jess. All the hatchers. Anyone who's participating in the TEC hatch, praise, praise, and more praise. Uh, thank you guys for another great sprint, and we will see you in two weeks. Bye.